Now the final step and the final new addition for uh, 4.1 and 4.0 for those that are not familiar with it is the BI Launchpad, which takes the place of InfoView in 3.x. So here again, you can see for those that are familiar with 4, 4.1 looks a little bit different. Same basic concept, right? So we're going to log in. And then for those that are not familiar with 4.0, uh, this is how the BI Launchpad now looks. The, the, your users can be set to either go directly to a folder structure or to this home screen where they can view <clears throat> recently viewed documents, items that have been sent to them over the system in my inbox, or even documents that have been that you've scheduled but they have not personally opened will show up in my recently run documents. And then depending on your user security, whether you have any alerts. And these alerts can be either server settings or they can be based on actual data as well. On the right hand side, you'll see my applications. So as the administrator, I've logged in, and I can see a number of different applications, right? I can create a Beck query module. I can do analysis edition for OLAP. I can do information steward, crystal reports for enterprise, BI workspaces, uh, which can actually be an interesting starting point for your user base, as you can have them open up directly a series of reports all in one tab so that you can direct the story in their BI lifestyle. And then finally, also Web Intelligence, which has a slightly new icon as well. We can also go up to Preferences here. You can set a number of different preferences. So I can either use a default setting that an administrator is set, or I can use my own setting. So I can choose the Select Home tab. I can choose to go to a place in my document structure or categories, which items to show in that document tab, and how I want to handle it. Now, in 3.1, uh, InfoView opened up a series of windows. In 4.0 and 4.1, we can set it up so that it looks as tabs. So I never actually leave Launchpad. I just simply navigate between tabs. What I prefer it makes more sense to me. You can also change enterprise passwords if you're using enterprise security. And then set settings for individual functions here as well. Web intelligence, you can determine whether you can view or modify uh, the web mode. Uh, is now called HTML, and the applet is the Java setting mode, uh, which allows us to uh, use Java and utilize that in our web creation processes. You can also set uh, default universes for queries, drill options, workspaces. You know, we can kind of tell which way it's going to feel and which way it's going to look. And for Crystal Report, we can say how we want to open it or how we want to measure things so that when we modify the document, we're more comfortable in that as well. And then also, if you have multiple time zones or locales, you can force that into this setting as well. You can either use your browser local, or you can use whatever you want here as well. 